God has a history of inviting surrendered lives to partner with Him to transform society. Lives that usher in God's dreams with courage and conviction. And that is exactly who Caitlin is. This is a story of a girl who said yes to the invitation from Jesus to befriend the prostitutes and invite them into a new life. God so clearly spoke to me where He said, Caitlin, I am just waiting for someone to partner with me. It kind of felt like the Lord was just like yearning for someone to just say yes and just go. So I was like, okay, Lord, I will go. I have no idea how this would look like. God started speaking to me about women in prostitution. When God first mentioned it, I was like, Lord, this is so messy. Like, honestly, like, how can you pull me into this? Like, it's just too messy, a too broken ministry to be a part of. So many of us feel this way. The problems of our world can be so messy and dark, it's tempting to just turn away. And that's what's so remarkable about Caitlin. She said yes to the invitation before she knew how to fight the injustice. But it took some time for this to develop. Caitlin didn't know what to do when God first spoke to her about this, so she went on with her studies, got a master's in chemical engineering, and when she joined YWAM, God kept speaking to her more and more about being a reformer. Where are we right now? Okay, so we are like in the city part of town. So this is kind of where you would find more of the bad dealing that would happen. Mm -hmm. So we have prostitution here. We have gangs being active. This is quite a dangerous place where you wouldn't necessarily walk alone. So how, like, you're doing this. You're like this little white girl. Like, aren't you like a little nervous? Oh my goodness, that's such a good question. Honestly, initially when God um, called me to do this, I was terrified. I like said to the Lord, like, have you seen me? Um, I have no way to defend myself. The whole scene with how it looked like was hilarious. Like these three girls just running in the streets, ministering to women in prostitution. It's such a dangerous area, but the Lord's hand was on it. Since actually stepping out and saying yes to what God has asked of me, there has been such a grace of like boldness and confidence where I would be able to like confront pimps and be when Whoa. they're like, what are Whoa. you doing here? So initially when I started, I just felt from the Lord that we needed to do sewing, but it's not like I'm at all an expert in it. I can do basic things. Yeah. <laughs> we got the community to like give funds to buy sewing machines. before like yeah we need to play around <laughs> like get the right setting <laughs> when they found women with real hunger to know Jesus they would invite them to join a Bible study and give them the opportunity to build sewing skills this is how woven was born a ministry to disciple women trapped in prostitution and invite them into a new life What the women then would do is, is they would make products but as independent product producers. So we create a space where there is machines, we provide fabric. Here we have the products and we sell them here at Zorro and then as well as on two other online platforms. So you have <laughs> like the community kind of involved in it. Too. Yes, which is so sweet. It's nice having the community to run with us in this. 
So I knew from the start it's gonna be hard, but I think when we hit the point where it was really hard, like we were hammering a thick brick wall, that I realized, oh wait, it's, it's easy to say no when things get hard. It's easy to then be like, wait, I, I don't actually know if I heard the Lord or maybe the word was just seasonal. Maybe it is those things. But the thing that gripped me was God's heart for these women and my love towards Him would be saying yes, even though it's so uncomfortable. And I would meet these women and I would be undone by their stories. Sometimes I feel so ashamed uh, with the things I was doing. I was struggling to raise my kids because I don't have any money. Felicia's story, she shared with me that at the age of 13, she was forced to marry this man who she didn't love. I mean, she was still a child. And then with this man, she had six children. And in the end, he started abusing her. And it was just really bad. And then he left her with the children. And she didn't have any other way to take care of her children than to go into prostitution. Now, uh... I'm free. I think I'm free because before I was, I was in anger. Even if they talk with me, I was just in anger. But now, I'm okay. So there was this one moment where I was ministering to this one woman. And with tears in her eyes, she said to me, Caitlin, I know Jesus can come back tomorrow. And if he does, what he will find is a prostitute but I do not have another way to take care of my family. And just like such a desperateness within them, like they've heard about the good news of Jesus, but then also they find themselves in this position where they are not able to help themselves. And I, I feel like the Lord invited us into this place where like we get to, I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> They were so eager to give their life to Jesus and learn more, more about Him. But they were in a situation where they weren't able to help themselves. And I just felt the Lord inviting us into this like great opportunity to be the one to help to get a solution. You're a new creation. Yes, who told me that when, when we read the Bible, I saw He's so kind. Caitlin saw this need and opened her heart for God's compassion. She wasn't an expert, but she did have a yes in her spirit. And now her obedience is changing the lives of these women in profound ways. Caitlin is just one girl in a whole movement of young people who are stepping onto the front lines of injustice to bring God's solutions. He's raising up a wave of reformers that are saying, yes, I will go. If you want to tangibly feel the Lord's presence, like go to those who are unseen in society or those who are deemed as less, because there is no one in the kingdom that is unseen by Him. There is no one that is too far lost. We get to walk with Jesus so closely when we say yes to, to reaching these people. Mm -hmm.